Welcome back to the next video referencing the Bosch K Jetronic. Now, I've done quite a few videos reference Bosch stuff before. As you, if you're watching this, you've probably seen them already. If you haven't, make sure you have a look because there's some good info in there. So, Bosch K Jetronic. Now we've got three types: CIS constant injection system, CIS E constant injection system electronic, and then you've got CIS E Motronic. What's the difference? Well, I'm going to tell you. CIS is the basic first fully mechanical fuel injection system. So you have your air flap, your air flap raises from the intake air from the engine. As that raises, that lifts the fuel pin in proportion to the air that's going in. Obviously the air that's coming in is through that cone, so that's metered through there, and then that raises the fuel pin. That lets the fuel come from the meter head under pressure to the injectors into the engine all purely mechanical and the injectors themselves they're not really an injector because they're not injecting like a modern injector they're a precise fuel nozzle i think is the technical term so cis is going to be found on your earliest gti's cage electronic up to sort of late 80s um, i don't know the exact change of points it's so different between where it was sold all that sort of stuff um the exact model of vehicle um because cis was in just based on vw you've got the vw golfs jettas uh passats uh what else is in audi wise you've got the early audi 80s 100s uh, it goes on and on like there's a lot of vehicles so specific years and exact models i won't have into because it's just too much you wouldn't it bore you so all we're focusing on is three main types. So we've done CIS. So what's CIS E? They've stuck an E on the end. So electronic. So as we're stepping on technology in the years, we have CIS E. Now CIS E, all that does is turn your meter and head from this type, which is CIS, <clears throat> to this type. So CIS E, they've stuck an E on the end. So that tells you electronic. So we are more moving forward with technology. Even a look on the camera, that's backwards, but me, that's forward. Never mind. I digress as I normally do. So CIS E is the same as CIS, but with the addition of a differential pressure regulator and a small control unit. Now what this does, air flap moves up, fuel pin goes up, fuel goes through to the injectors. But the pressure going to those injectors is via a the differential pressure regulator, which looks like this. And that differential press, pressure regulator fine tunes the fuel. Now it does this from signals from the ECU. Don't worry, it's not modern ECU, it's the simple little circuit board. I say simple, simple compared to new modern stuff. Now the ECU signal need, needs something to come into it before it can send something out. So in to the issue you've got coolant temperature sensor you've got engine rpm you've got um oxygen control so you have a lambda sensor in the exhaust and you'll also have your throttle position now with these four it was four wasn't it Did a little bit. yeah with these four signals coming into the ecu the ecu can then tell the differential pressure level pressure or regulator what to do now the next one is cise and motronic now what's motronic motronic is probably more advanced again a full ecu controlling i'm going to say fuel and ignition and everything but it doesn't control the fuel the fuel is still cage at constant injection system so as soon as the engine's running fuel's coming through it's going in those injectors all four of them at the same time the only difference is it is managed pressure wise by the ecu so the matronic control unit controls four things so we have got fuel ignition idle and emissions control now this came fitted to the 9a the 9a engine that was in the corrado to some of the passats this is when the matronic was introduced so it narrows it down on the cars now your meter and head will look like this now that's the matronic so what that has is like the cis e you have a differential pressure letter on the side on the other side you also have a potentiometer which shows the ECU how high the air plate is 
kind of what position it's at and it uses that again like all ECUs do inputs come in lots of stuff happens and then outputs go out and then the Petronic also introduced knock control now knock is pre-ignition or detonation so as I've discussed in previous videos when that piston's coming to TDC and just going past you want the spark event to happen then you push the piston down now if the piston is just coming towards TDC not past it and then a spark happens the piston will continue to go round but you'll have a knock or a pinging noise where the explosion is having counteracting forces so it's trying to push the piston down when it's being forced over so what knock does is a little sensor which looks like this that senses acoustically the noise that is generally um, made by pre-detonation and when it hears that or feels it it then can alter ignition timing and fuel pressure to eliminate that knock and also on the other side of that preventing knock to eliminate it it can also adjust the ignition timing which is necessary at high engine speed it's where we have the basic fully mechanical cis system with no electrical control units or inputs used then we move on to the latest incarnation of the e Tronic, where we have our differential pressure regulators our oxygen sensor control units etc etc and also you can see from these different schematics you can see the additional parts that are being added to the system from going from cis to the cis e to Metronic. And you can see the progression that's happening with the technology just improving and the emissions and efficiency of the engine. Now we say emissions, you think, oh, but emissions, yeah, different countries have different emissions, all different regulations. But what you must remember, what I've said before, is an efficient engine is a performance engine. So the more efficient you make the engine, the more performance you'll get out of it. So if you get every single cylinder, the same spark the same fuel the same air and at the same point you're going to have a more efficient engine which means more power because like you can have your modern cars remapped producing more power when you're not driving it fast it returns more miles per gallon because the engine has been optimized to be more efficient so with efficiency like I said before comes power so as it's going on through the emissions and more inputs to the ECU and outputs to the other sensors you can see how the development's coming across but it's still using that basic constant injection system um, which is a fantastic system obviously you've seen the videos I've used it on my own car that's 188 brake horsepower out of that I've known a couple of people um, who are running the same kind of power and that's stock stock system stock power stock injectors when it works it is fantastic also when it doesn't work it doesn't work but I've got so many people question me off here and on the Facebook page and everything on how to diagnose it and what, what can we do in this what can we do in that so the information is out there I'm always happy to help so hopefully that has unraveled a bit more mystery of the CIS, CSE and the Motronic like I said I won't delve into what vehicles they come on it's all based around the Mark 1 Mark 2 Golf um, and the early Passats and the same sort of period Audis it's sort of what we focus on, but you've got obviously your Fords, you've got the XR3Is, RS Turbos had a similar system on them, um, all sorts of that period car, um, Mercedes Benz, some Lotuses, Volvos, uh, list goes on. But anyway, any questions, stick them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.